Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining. My name is Jim Crispino, and this is the September DevCast. Um, we are going to be covering external metrics for gamification today. Um, as some background, I am the Senior Director of Developer Evangelism here at Genesis, uh, specifically on the App Foundry team. So day to day, I work mainly with our partners, helping them integrate their products into our platforms uh, to get them on the App Foundry marketplace for our customers to take advantage of. And I'm joined here with my colleague, Prashant, who helps me in that endeavor on a daily basis. And um, we will uh, we will venture into the world of external metrics for gamification. But before we get started, uh, just some, some logistics. There will be a 10 minute Q&A at the end of this tutorial. It might last longer than that, depending on how many questions you have, it might be shorter. Um, also, this recording is be or this tutorial is being recorded, and we're going to upload it to our Genesis Community YouTube channel, which you can get to by visiting our Developer Center at developer.genesis.cloud/video. You'll be able to see this video as well as all the previous devcasts that we've done since the start of this series several years ago. So, with that, I am going to launch right into it. Oh, uh, one more, one more logistical thing. Um, if you have a question while I'm going through uh, through the talk, uh, please use the Q&A button on Zoom and post your question there so that uh, we can get that answered. So let me share my other test. How let me stop sharing. Cancel that. Okay, good. Cancel that. And we'll share this desktop. I am going to look over here. So pardon looking at the side of my head for the rest of this tutorial. Um, all right, so we're going to start talking about gamification today. So let me log into my Genesis Cloud org. This is a this is a production org that our team, uh, my team here at Genesis, uses uh, to to test out integrations, to hold webinars and such. But it's a production org, and I am logging in today as an agent. And you may or may not be aware, depending on your license level with Genesis Cloud and such, um, you may not be aware, but we have a gamification engine built within Genesis. And it is gamification, if you're not aware of that, that's using game theory to try and drive performance of your agent population in your contact center. So um, the typical use case would be you set up a board where you have, uh, you can show leaders of points or agents earn points for various things. They can earn points for the number of calls they handle, their average handle time, how fast they wrap up calls, um, you name it. If there's a metric, uh, you know, that, that, that we have in the gamification system for you to peg against, you can assign points if agents reach certain thresholds of those metrics and Agents, when they log in in the morning, they can see their scorecard. Let me make this not such an eye chart for those of you who are like me who have a hard time seeing these days. Um, when an agent logs in in the morning, they see their activity dashboard. And one panel of that is their scorecard for uh, for the day and for the for maybe the week and maybe the quarter and maybe the year. It depends on, on what your, what your uh, scorecard tracks. But um, I can see that my daily points, I've, I've earned almost 1,500 points today. Um, I've got 6,000 lifetime points, and I, I earn an average of 255 a week. Um, I can see my scorecard. I can come up here, and I can see what I've done on various days in the past. So, so there's you, you can go back to previous months. Um, you can click on a day. And on this particular day, I think I, I handled a couple of calls. Oh, no, <laughs> I, uh, I have a couple of metrics down here for, for, for uh, what we're going to be talking about. I think the next day, I handled a couple of calls. Yep, so here, my average handle time on this day was 1 minute and 25 seconds. Um, I'm not a great agent, obviously. <laughs> I don't stay on the call very long uh, when I'm testing. Um, but you can see the thresholds here that if if uh, if I were within 100 125 to 250, I'd be at this level. If I reached 350, um, 
seconds, I would be in the target range. So this, this has an upper threshold and a lower threshold, and in the middle is where my target is. I also have um, after call work time ratio. This is like how much time I spend in after call work compared to how much time I spent on the call. And in this case, lower is better. A, a, a lower score is better. So you get more points if you wrap up calls faster than if you stay and wrap up and, and, and spend more time there. And it shows all of your metrics for all the various Genesis metrics that we have. You can also see leaderboards. So um, let me bring this up here. Um, leaderboard is, uh, it, it's like the high score of a video game, right? This is where your agents can see how they perform against other agents in the contact center. And I've created a, a custom profile for my group. Uh, uh, you know, so you might have a, a team within your contact center that you want those agents to work against each other because they work in a, in a similar manner. They handle the same kind of calls. So you would want to rank them um, against one another. And here's the leaderboard. You can see I've done great today, but I'm, I'm the only one who's earned any, uh, earned any points in our board. Um, and then down here would be a leaderboard. This would be like the high score on a video game, uh, ranking the, the, the top 10. Um, you can also see in the, in the last week or in the last month, and we didn't, I, I had not even set up the system in the previous month, so there's no points, no leaderboards on that. Um, so you can view by points, you can, you could view um, who got the most points in a specific category. And so your agents can see this too. Your agents would, would be able to come in here and look at their scorecard, look at the leaderboard. They could see how they rank. And the idea, again, it's game theory. The idea is that you're trying to drive agent performance. If, if an agent sees that maybe their uh, wrap up time is not as good compared to others in the group, they might try, they might strive to wrap up calls faster or, you know, and, and get on to the next call. Um, you know, we see gamification in lots of things we do um, in sports, in video games. I'm old enough to remember going to the arcade, putting a quarter down to reserve my game at the arcade and working to get my name at the top of the, uh, the top of the video game and then hoping I would come back the next day and my name was still at the top of, say, Pac-Man or Space Invaders or Galaga or whatever. So those are very old games I'm dating myself. Um, anyway, uh, even with like language apps these days or your smartwatch where, where you've got health, those are all trying to gamify you. They're trying to give you a badge or give you a, give you points to try and drive your performance towards the goal that that app, that device, that whatever is trying to achieve. And so Genesis has that same concept. So hopefully you get the point of what gamification is and kind of how that works. So um, how it works from an agent perspective in the dashboards. In And I am going to get to code here in a bit, so, so stick with me. Um, in Genesis Admin, if, if, you have, if you have workforce engagement, if you have the workforce engagement module or your Genesis Cloud 3 uh, licensee, you will have in Admin a performance and engagement section where you will be able to find the, the gamification uh, widgets to set up. And we've got a couple of things here. Gamification settings is the, the overall overall settings for gamification. So this is like when you turn gamification on, when Genesis should start recording points. You saw that I had a score of a around 6,000 lifetime points. So that's 6,000 points since the start that gamification was turned on. Um, you can set default membership so that all agents in your contact center automatically work in um, gamification, or you can do that individually. I'll show you how to do that. And then you can you can reset you you you, you can reset the leaderboard um, so that like your top performer does not always return remain there for their lifetime. Uh, you can kind of reset the stats and let other people have a chance at getting their name on the leaderboard. Under gamification profiles, this is where you can set up different kinds of boards, different, different gamification metrics measured for specific teams. So 
you know, one team might be sales oriented. So you might have metrics based on close rates and work uh, uh, wrap up code responses that show that a sale was made or follow ups required or something like that. So in a, in a sales and then in, in, in a support type of mode, you might have a profile set up for um, uh, tickets, right? The number of tickets handled, uh, tickets closed on first call resolution, um, any anything you can think in a ticketing. And, and so every department, every group can have a different profile with different metrics set up. And I have created this one, DevCast Customer Support. I gave it a name and I gave it a description. And these are division aware. So if you use divisions within your org to segregate your org into different operating units, you can create profiles that are specific to a division. The reporting intervals are kind of cool. My, my board, I've only set up with a four week reporting um, interval. So every four weeks, it, it'll, uh, it, it only keeps track for, for the, four, the, the four weeks. But you could set up, you can add additional intervals and you could you could track you could track gamification and metrics and the leaderboard over not just a four week period, but a quarterly period, a half year period, a full year period. And so your agents can go in and see how they performed in that four week, quarter, half year, full year period to see how they rank. And then you can choose how many, how many to show on the leaderboard. Um, you know, top three limits, you know, that's, that's very limiting. Top 10 is fairly common. You can go as high as, as top 300. If you have thousands of agents, that might be nice to give some people a chance just to see their name on the board. So I've set mine up with top 10. And then on the metrics tab is where you pick the metrics that Genesis has for your team, for this specific team and what they'll be measured against. And, um, um, uh, and then lastly, members. So you can select the agents within your agent population that should be a part of this profile. Who the, Their metrics will be tracked and calculated. And these four folks, me and Prashant and Jen and Agnes, are playing against one another. Um, I'm the only one playing at this point. I did not make them aware that they were they were members of this profile. So they have no points. Um, but that's how you you set up a profile. You set up the metrics they'll be measured against. Hey, Jim. And then, yes, Prashant, go ahead. Yeah. So, can you do queues on that, or does is it only member uh, user based individual you, users? So, so yes. I, thank you for pointing that out. Um, yes, for the different metrics. If you come in here and you say average handle time. When you when you click on that average handle time, you know, I wanted I wanted to go into this. So these are Genesis metrics. So we are not at the external metrics part yet, which is my my main point for for talking to you all today. Um, these this is a Genesis metric, average handle time. That's a contact center metric. That's something Genesis in our system that we can measure and make available. So I've added average handle time here to my dashboard, and um, it's it, it already has a predefined metric type. I can select that I'm only interested in average handle time uh, for certain media types, like maybe just for calls. Maybe I only want to track them for calls. I don't care about chats or I don't care. I, maybe I care about all of the media types that we have. And I can also track against specific cues. So I, I can pick the cues where I'm measuring. And I have done that in this case. I'm only tracking the customer support queue. You can see our team has created quite a few queues here <laughs> that, that we play for various, that we, we use for various things. I'm only tracking uh, interactions that go through the customer support queue in this case. And then I talked about the different, um, different metrics can have different objectives, okay? Like this one has an upper and a lower bounds and the target is actually in the middle. So um, you want most of your calls to be handled in uh, 350 seconds. It's about five minutes. Um, so that's the target. If, if they get there, that's where their most number of points will be. And um, this is where uh, this is where you assign the seconds, in, in this case, seconds for average handle time. 
Um, so between 300 and 460 seconds is the sweet spot of how you'd like your, your calls handled. And at that spot, you're going to give each an agent 350 points if they reach that target. You might give them a little a fewer points if they get within, if they get close to that. Um, so in good performance, whether they're just a little bit over or just a little bit under, you might give them a little bit of points and then out of bounds, they get no points. Um, so that's average handle time. Like uh, if I look at uh, calls transferred, that objective is a lower is better with four zones. So uh, again, you're trying to how what percentage of the calls did the agent transfer to somebody else? And you want that target to be low. You you want the agent to have first call resolution and, and not have to have the customer transfer from agent to agent to get their question answered. So the fewer transfers you get, the more points you get. The, the more transfers you go up the line, the less points you get. There's quite a few uh, ways that you can break that up. There's higher is better, lower is better with two zones, three zones, et cetera. So you can play with with the zones, the number, and then the points to assign for that number. All right. So thank you, Prashant, for, for bringing that up. So just as a, in general, that's the general usage of gamification and how to set that up. And if you go to the Genesis Cloud Resource Center at help.mypurecloud.com and you put in gamification and search, Everything that I just showed you for the out-of-the-box experience is, is talked about in the About Gamification article. So if you've spent any time in the Resource Center whatsoever, you know that most topics have an about, uh, about gamification, about data actions, about whatever, um, which is the overview uh, table of contents, if you will, for large categories. And then within those categories, we have a breakdown of of the individual articles so that this will tell you about how to set up gamification within your system assuming you're licensed for it and such and 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 how to make use of that um we also talk about external metrics so this is this is where i'm talking about today because this is where developers and coding come in um so we we have articles and you can read this at your leisure um, of how to configure external metrics and, and scorecards and stuff well, let's pop back to my Genesis Cloud instance, and we'll talk about external metrics. So it's great that Genesis has all these metrics related to the contact center, right? Average handle time, uh, wrap up time, hold time, any, you know, any, anything that Genesis can measure about handling an interaction. But we all know customers, you, you all as customers have many systems that your agents are interacting with. You probably have a CRM, you may have a ticketing system. Uh, you may have a billing system. That you, you, have, you have several line of business systems that your agents are interacting with. And each of those systems are tracking metrics as well. And you can, if you are willing to write a little bit of code, are able to take metrics out of those systems, say a ticketing system. You might uh, send over the tickets closed by each agent um, on a daily basis so that Genesis can bring those into our gamification system that you've got here and score your agents against the tickets. Um, you know, for, for CRMs for sales, again, you might track how many opportunities were closed in Salesforce by a specific agent and what the dollar value was of those. And you might rank agents against the total number of sales, the total dollar value of sales per day, um, so that you get your, your highest selling uh, sales rep um, on the leaderboard. So that's just, that's the idea of external metrics. And we have an area on, uh, on the admin panel to define those external metrics here. So I have created for this webinar, I've created two, I've uh, kind of made up the Facebook likes and TikTok views <laughs> um, would be something that I might want to track. I might, I might, I might want to get those from those platforms, bring those into Genesis Cloud and gamify agents against, against them. So 
Uh, if we go look at Facebook, um, I just said Facebook likes is a metric. I gave it a name. Um, I gave it a unit, which is a number. I told it don't don't round anything. It's just going to be a, an integer digit anyway. So there's nothing to round. And that the objective is higher is better, right? The, the more Facebook likes, the better. Um, and I did the same with TikTok views. So um, it's, it's almost identical. And if you create a new metric, you get to give it a name. My metric, you get to select what unit it's counted against. So it might be currency, it might be a percentage, it might be number of seconds, and it might be a, just a, a number. And a number can be a raw integer or it can be a, a decimal um, that, you, that you send in. That's where the rounding comes in if you pick number. Um, so if it's a if it, you know if it's a decimal, you can say how many digits of precision that you want. Um, so if you know if it's quite long, but you only want two digits of currency, you you can do that. And then uh, higher is better, lower is better, or whether it's a target area, like you're trying to hit a sweet spot um, where you know too many or too few is bad, but right in the middle that you know you can select target area. Once you define that external metric, so. One nice thing, as a developer, you're going to want this ID, okay? And we even make a nice little copy to clipboard for you uh, to get the ID. I'll also show you the programmatic way to get that. But that ID will be important for you to report metrics, uh, the actual value for those against that metric. When you go to your profile, you go back to your profile, and I go to my customer support profile under metrics, you create a metric and you can select the type. We obviously have the Genesis ones, right? The after call work, average handle time, average hold time. But if you scroll down and I've named mine, I wanted mine to stand out here. So I put external at the end of them, just so they, just so I would know those are not Genesis native metrics. Those are, those are ones I define. You can come up with any naming scheme you'd like to, um, but here's my Facebook likes. And I already have it in there, but I'll, I'll just show you. So I chose Facebook likes as my metric. Um, and my objective, it comes in here. It, it kind of comes in with some default points if you want to you wanna set up more, you can. But this is where you, you say, all right, if I get, if I get uh, you know, 100 likes, that, uh, that's OK. If I get 1,000 likes, that's even better. And I might give them a thousand points for that, uh, 500 points if they get near to that target, and I'll only leave, leave them 100 points if they get 100 views. So, so I can create that um, objective there for Facebook likes. And then I would I would create that and it would show up in this list. I have already done that, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna add that to my list because I've already got it right here. And I've already got my objectives set up with my points. So how do we make use of that? Well, I don't have a sample app. I'm actually going to use the developer tools to show you this. So I'm going to hop over to the Genesis Cloud Developer Center at developer.genesis.cloud. Um, let me make this not such an eye chart as well. All right. So I'm just going to I'm just going to click on getting started. I'm going to show you overall where where the gamification information is from the topics on the uh, left hand panel. So if you go down to user and agent management, we have a gamification section there. You can click on that. We've got two articles. You can also search gamification and gamification APIs are there. It takes you to the same place. Just depends whether you like to navigate or whether you like to search. Um, but you're going to get to the same place. So the gamification APIs, these are all the APIs we have for gamification, not just external metric related, but if you want to programmatically create profiles and add members to profiles and, you know, you want to build your own mechanism for managing all of that and you want to query scorecards and show those in another system, maybe you want to take the Genesis scores out of out of Genesis and move them to another gamification platform, you're able to do that with the APIs. So, so we have a number of APIs. I am going to stick to the external metrics ones. 
which are just this top uh, six here. We have the typical CRUD operations of get, patch, delete, post, and, and then uh, and then the one I'm going to spend the most time is actually writing the external metric. But we also have an article, so I'd encourage you to read this as well, that talks about um, external metrics specifically out of all the gamification APIs, external metrics specifically, and gives you an idea of how to make that API request. Um, so you can click on that. You can see the API and the parameters and everything. Uh, if you scroll down, it'll tell you, it'll cover off from a developer perspective, how to set this up, how to make use of the dashboards and such, and kind of how to get things, how to get things working in your system. Um, it, it, the resource center has all of this as well. We've just kind of collected a quick and dirty guide, if you will, here in the developer center. So I have gone to the gamification APIs and the two I want to talk about today are, are um, the posting, posting metrics in and getting the definitions. And I've, I've starred those because I want to, I want to use those fairly frequently. So they're in my toolbox now. Um, I think the toolbox view is a little bit easier to um, make use of than the, you get a little bit more scrolling there in the, in the uh, main panel. But first of all, I want to show you the get operation um, for external metrics definitions. So I created that Facebook likes and the TikTok views external metric. And if I, um, I need to select my account. Sorry, hold on one second. I'm going to add my account. So it queries against my org here. All right, so it's against my org. Sorry for the hopping around. All right. I am on get external metrics definitions. So there's really not much in the way of parameters. If I had hundreds of external metrics, I might want to put a page size on there and a, and a page number to return. Um, most Genesis APIs that can have large quantities of return data have a paging mechanism in them. You guys are probably aware of that. But I'm just going to execute this get request. That's going to come back with the 200 OK. And here are the gamification, the, the external metrics uh, metrics that I have defined in my system. So from the from the UI, from the UI, if I go to external metrics, I had four. I had four defined. And so if I come back over here, these are the four. This is the JSON of the four case closed. Um, my Facebook likes the ones I, the one I defined. Uh, the one that prints uh, from my team, he created one, and then TikTok views. So, so these two, the Facebook likes and the TikTok views, are the ones I want to use today. And you can see their ID is here. You're going to need that to be able to post values against those. That's also the same ID that you see in the user interface. So if you don't want to use the API and you just want to come over here and copy that ID to the clipboard, then you can use that in the next API request. So. So the idea is from your third party, from your system outside of Genesis, let's say in Salesforce or Zendesk or Freshdesk or some other system, you have metrics in those systems that you want to send to Genesis. You would, let me scroll up here, sorry. Um, you would call this post API post external metrics data, okay? And you can you can post just one value to one metric at a time, or you can post a couple, you can, you can add a metric and you can fill out the values over here if you want to. Um, you can use, so user ID and user email are mutually exclusive. You should use one or the other. The user ID, is the Genesis user ID, right? It's the it's the GUID that identifies that user. Um, you can imagine Salesforce is not going to know the GUID of the Genesis user, right? Unless unless you've done some kind of sync and you've pushed Genesis user IDs to these other systems, they are not going to know the Genesis ID of that user. So we have Genesis email which is a little nicer to use because presumably in Salesforce or Zendesk or Freshdesk, 
they're going to know. They're going to have the, the user's email address if that's not already their user ID. They're going to have that, that email address for that user. So it's easy to report the metric for the user. Um, now they also need that metric. And so we copied that. So that GUID for the metric ID that's either in the UI or it's in the where we, we got the list of external metrics. Um, we passed that in. Uh, the date that it occurred. So you can report metrics for a specific date. You can go back up to seven days. You can't go, you can't go further back in time than seven days. Um, but you can populate data for the past week. So if you want to do this on a weekly basis, create leaderboards on a weekly basis, you can do that um, and just send in, send in the daily values. You put in a value, and, uh, and we also have the idea of a count. So if you were doing an average where you might report values in um, over a day, and you want those values averaged, you would send a count, which is like a sequence number, so that um, we know that the, the count of metrics and we know each of the values, we can, we can add those together and then divide by the count and get, uh, get the uh, average for that specific metric. So um, I'm actually gonna delete that extra metric because I don't want that. But you can see here, I've done, I, I've already pre-populated the uh, email, my email I want to report against. And today is the 28th. And I want to send in that I've had 625 Facebook likes today. And you can see over on the right, it's it's populating over there. You can also just edit right here in the JSON. Um, that's a little weird. And so we can do... Uh, TikTok views also, and we'll do, I don't know, 150. So um, you fill out your JSON and you post that into Genesis. So if you execute that. Now, this is a little anti, oh, hold on. Ah, let me reload. Sorry about that. Let me go back to my toolbox. Send that again. I think my access token expired. So we'll send that in again. So now I get the 200 OK. And you get the, the processed entity. So it will tell you which metrics it received and processed. And if there were any failures, if there was some reason it couldn't process one of the metrics you sent in, you would get a, a report back as to why that couldn't be processed. So. I say it's a little anticlimactic because I cannot go back. So I just sent in 625 and 150 uh, Facebook, Facebook likes and TikTok views. And if I go to Genesis Cloud and I go to activity, I go look at my scorecard for today on the 28th, because that's the date I reported those for. Oh. They are here. Ah, they, okay. Well, I'm proven wrong. Uh, these that was not working for me previously. So, um, so it is in real time. You get uh, here's my 625 for today, and I got 100 and 150 uh, Facebook likes. Oh, I've got those backwards. Facebook likes and TikTok views. So, so I didn't quite get the number of points that I would have wanted for TikTok views, but I did for Facebook likes. Now, we should be able to go back to here. And uh, what was what was my threshold? If I want all the points, five hundred. I've got to get nearly five hundred, or a little over, a little over two hundred. No, TikTok TikTok views. I need more than a thousand. So let's see. I get let's say one, two, three, four. Oh, I need to do it up here. Sorry. One, two, three, four, and I'll execute that. All right, it took that. If I go back over here, it should have replaced. So since it's not averaging, it's not replacing the count, it, it's not doing a summation, it's simply a replacement. If I were to send in a lower figure now, it would bump back down. But you see, I got the max points for today out of that category, and I got the max points out of Facebook likes as well. Um, 
And so that ought to put me on the on the leaderboard for today. And if I look at Facebook likes for today, you can see I'm the I'm the top, I'm the top on the leaderboard because I have 500. Now I could post some in there for Prashant, but I want to be on the top of the leaderboard for right now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, and with that, it's I mean, it's a nice system. Unfortunately, so so a couple of things. The metrics, you 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 might ask, and I'll look at the QA here in a minute. These metrics do not go into the general metrics pool of Genesis. So you can't um you can't subscribe to these over the notification API. They won't be pushed to you over that web socket as a Genesis metric. These simply come right into the gamification platform and they stay within the gamification platform at this time. So um, it really is, you're only using these for gamification, but, um, you know, in your business, like I said, it's great to measure people against their contact center performance, but contact center performance, in, in, in my opinion, if I'm calling into a contact center to try and get help, I want them to help me. I want them to be interested in, in solving my problem and not hanging up my call as fast as possible so that they make the leaderboard. And I would I would hope you all are like that too, right? You want you want your problem to be resolved and you don't care if they're wrapping up your call fast enough um you know for their points. So maybe gamifying your users against contact center metrics like that may not be the best option. And so these external metrics um, might be of more value to gamify your agents um, against one another. So with that, um, I am, I've kind of shown you all that I have. The rest is, is uh, left up to the student to implement those APIs in those systems that you have. You know, you could write a nightly cron job or scheduled uh, Lambda or, you know, whatever uh, in, in Salesforce, you could have some Apex code that runs on a scheduled basis that queries all those values, sends them over to Genesis. It's, it's, it's an easy API. If you know, the, the, only, the only downside of the API, I think, is that um, right now you have to use that GUID for the external metrics. So the system that you're um, that, that you're reporting metrics against has to know this quid that we've assigned to that metric. You can't, you can't use the name. Um, hopefully that, that might be something, uh, you know, some feature enhancement that would be coming because it would be much nicer on the remote system not to have to store that quid and use the name instead. Um, but it, it, it's not terrible. It's not terrible to have to have that on, uh, uh, you know, in your code to report those values against Intigenesis. So with that, I'm going to stop sharing. And uh, let me look at the QA panel here and see what we've got to answer. Um, so Richard Robinson wrote, it can take up to one minute to appear, is what he found. Yeah, well, I actually, I tried this out, Richard. Um, I, I started last week trying to start to send in metrics to kind of get prepared for this. And um, the first time I, I sent them in, they didn't show up for me. And I think what happened was I was sending them in and my clock was wrong and it was sending them on a, on a previous day. So they, were, they weren't showing up on today's uh, task. But yeah, they, 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 they do show up fairly quickly. Um, it's gamification. It's not mission critical, I guess. So it probably there's there's probably no SLA on how fast those appear, but I, I, I it it looks like it's pretty fast. Um, and somebody wrote, I have a PowerShell script that populates this. It's great, yeah. So PowerShell PowerShell is awesome, right? Um, that's probably one of the one of the best things that got built into Windows is PowerShell because um, you can do all sorts of cool things with that writing writing little scripts that'll just run on a on a scheduled basis and have that run nightly and push push things in um 
we also have App Foundry partners um, that can push external metrics into Genesis. So um, we've got some vendors, you all may or may not like this, but uh, they watch your agents. They, they, they watch at home remote agents and they, they, they watch what, they, sometimes they can literally watch the agent, make sure they're sitting at the desk. Um, they can like watch what apps the agents are using um, on the desktop and how much time they're spending in those apps. So, um, you know, those vendors can report those metrics into Genesis. Like the agent would worked, you know, seven and a half hours out of out of their uh, out of their schedule because they know when they were sitting down in front of their desk, or um, you know, they spent X amount of minutes in this app or this app or this app, and so the, you know, all of those metrics can be brought in, and you can gamify your agents against those as well. So. Um, are there any other questions? Looks like Prashant, uh, Prashant answered a few. Um, yeah, he asked, uh, okay, leaderboard by queue, that was one. And then we had a request from a customer to create case assignment limits on a per agent basis. Case assignment limits on a per agent basis and not send more interactions of that type once the limit has been met. Huh. It Is sounds the, like... It sounds like they want to use the information to kind of uh, manage uh, which agents get the get the interaction, perhaps. The ability to uh, use these extra metrics in ACD or WFM scheduled activities, a future possibility. So gamification is part of the workforce engagement platform of Genesis, which WFM is a part of. I do not believe the metrics today can be used, the external metrics at least, I don't believe those can be used for WFM scheduling, but it wouldn't surprise me at some point in the future since gamification is part of that overall platform um, that it would be possible. In terms of ACD, so uh, we had a request from a customer to create case assignment limits on a per agent basis. So yeah, so Prashan, I think you're right where once an agent has handled X number of a certain type of something, don't route any more of that thing to them. Um, that's a good question. So if I go look, let me get rid of the toolbox here. Um, let me share my screen again. Let's just, since we got a little time and uh, let's go look here. So let me scroll down here. So if I look at the gamification APIs, I can do a get um, against, that's a profile ID. Can I do it against a user? Okay. So I can get a user's all time points. Let me grab my user ID. Let's see what we get here. Copy that, put that over here. Let's execute this. So I should get my all-time points. That should have been around 6,000 or something like that. Oh, let's see, best points. Oh, look at this. So sorry, sorry you guys are seeing this in real time. This is, this is kind of how we work. Um, sometimes it just takes some experimentation. So best points on a daily but, basis. Jim, are we looking at the right screen? No, you're not. You're looking at my notes. <laughs> I'm looking at my notes. So let me share this screen. All right, um, uh, daily, weekly, monthly. So those are points, those are raw points, which I would expect from that API, that's my best points. I can do all time, I can do trends, I can do average, but it doesn't look like I can say for a specific user, give me the value of a metric at least not in the gamification APIs. Um, what do I get? What do I get here? Oh, well, that was the one I just called. So that was by user. So their attendance, their best points, best points all time. And tr oh, value, value trends. Well, I don't think value trends is going to give us what we want either, but let's see what, let's see what we get there. Um, 
start and end date. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back to the 21st. That's nice. Give me a second. I guess I got to go back there. Um, something about Google Chrome and that date selector on our API Explorer isn't right. So actually, let me let me do this. And for those of you who were wondering if you are still using the old developer tools, those work as well. So you can go to the API Explorer there. And if we go down to gamification and metrics, uh, that's deprecated. It's not external status, it's not status. Leaderboard metrics. It's not metric definitions, scorecards, scorecards, best points for the user. It's going to be in this points trend for a user, value trends for a user. So let me paste my user ID in there. Uh, 2022, 09, let's say start on the 20, let's start on the 22nd. I bet we can only go back. Well, we probably can go back further. Let's say to the 28th today in UTC, send that request and what we get, we get a metric. So average handle time, you can find the average count. Let's see if there's a count. Average after call work, total talk time. Oh, so that's just my average total talk time in seconds. My trend for the workday. Yeah, I'm not sure. So sorry. Um, sorry for going down that rabbit hole. I'm not sure that you can really get that in terms of routing. Um, you could probably use the analytics API to query against certain values or certain metrics um, to, to get those out of the system. Probably not external metrics because those aren't exposed um, via the analytics API. Um, but, you know, those metrics come from another system. So maybe a data action that queries, say, Salesforce or Zendesk or Freshdesk or whatever the, whatever the third-party system is, um, a data action to query those systems uh, would work in that case. All right. Well, uh, there are no further questions in the Q&A box. So, um, as always, we have the developer forum. If you go to our developer center on the landing page, there's a big block uh, on, on there that you can click on the forum and post any questions. And uh, you can get an answer on external metrics, what we talked about today, or really any developer topic uh, that you may want to. And then I, uh, I'll make a plug for next month. John Carnell will be here. He's done some of the DevCasts in the past. You all may uh, remember him. He will be talking just about the Genesis Cloud APIs in general and some of the new things coming up. And then um, I will be talking in November. Yep, he's doing October. I'm doing November. November, we'll be talking about the new triggers functionality. So triggers um, is the ability to set up basically web hooks on system events within Genesis. So um, that will have a couple of months under its belt of a, of a GA um, product. And so we'll, we'll cover off triggers and how to take advantage of those in your Genesis cloud in November. And that'll probably wrap up DevCast for 2023. So uh, please watch out, um, register for our newsletter on the developer center down to, uh, along the left-hand side, scroll down to the bottom where you see newsletter and DevCast and register for uh, the newsletter so you're uh, made aware of new devcasts that are coming and we'll see you in a uh, see you next month thanks for joining bye bye